And hello folks, it is I Kamikaze here to bring you a really quick tutorial on how to open up more than one instance of Audacity. If you're like me, it was a little difficult trying to figure this out, but this tutorial will be very short, very simple, and to the point. First of all, you go to sandboxy.com and then you click download. After you reach the download page, you click the lovely download link here. I'll provide a direct link down below, but just in case if that doesn't work, obviously you go to sandboxy.com. So this tutorial will only let you open up two instances of Audacity because if you want to open up more, you will have to buy it. Fortunately, it's actually quite affordable, $35 lifetime use, one computer. Uh, I only need to open up two to capture two microphones, so it's not a big deal for me. I already have uh, Sandboxy installed, so what I'm going to do is open it up here, and this is the control panel. Obviously, you know how to install a program, and you can pause it here so you can go and install it so you can follow along. After you install it, open it up. Now, assuming that you've paused the video and installed it, or you just know what you're doing, uh, easy enough is your sandbox default box. You right-click it, run sandbox, run any program. Uh, I usually get a notification saying I've had it for more than 30 days, and that goes away in five seconds. You get to use it free forever for one sandbox at a time. When you run a program, you have to select where it's located. So you need to find the location where you installed Audacity. Obviously, you could browse it, but me, I've already opened it up here before. So I just click there, hit OK. So now this is the instance of Audacity that has been opened in Sandbox. You can see that it has a lovely yellow border for that. Now I'm going to go open Audacity within my normal installation of Windows. Click that. Boom. We now have two instances of Audacity. The only downside is you can't use a hotkey to have them both record at the same time. You'd have to click each program and either hit R or the record button. One thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to set up two microphones and I'm going to record the same thing. You'll notice that there are two different re uh, microphones recording because my XLR mic I'm talking through right now is mono sound where the, uh, whoops, where the headset I'm recording over here is my Corsair and it is stereo. So I will show you right now. I click record, I click record, and now I'm recording two different instances of, well, voice. And I'll pause it here. Well, I'll stop the recording actually. And hit play. I click record, I click record, and now I'm recording two different instances of, well, voice. I click record, and now I'm recording two different instances of, well, voice. And you see, that is really simple to do, the tutorial's over, you're all set. And as I said before, if you want to open up more than just two, unfortunately you will have to purchase it. I have not found another way to open multiple instances. If I do, I will make a new video for it, but other than that, here you go. If you have, folks, if this helped you, please remember to like, subscribe, or comment if you would like. If you have any questions, definitely comment below, and I'll see you guys in the uh, next tutorial that I end up doing.